Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll be speaking to him and asking him much more in-depth questions other than, are you enjoying your stay? I really enjoy my stay. In fact, I was in Perth. I loved it. Really? Yeah, about a couple of weeks ago. Apparently, it's the most isolated city in the world. It is isolated, but mm. it's, it's beautiful. The beaches are great. Got to go surfing and gamble at the casino. <laughs> if you want to get a job with the Western Australian Tourism Commission, see Steve Foltz. We'll be speaking to him later in the show, along with other such luminaries as Peter Rose Thorne and a guy you heard before, Ed White. And the hard-ons are dropping in for a chat. All right now. Steve! All the way into the... Yeah, you're going to play with me. How are you going? Oh, that's yeah. great. I um, actually play left-handed, so... That's okay. Is that cool? Yeah, we Is it an ambidextrous like guitar? It is. Welcome to Australia, Steve. Thank but you. you've already been here, haven't you? I have. A month and a half. And then I left for New, Ze New Zealand and uh, Singapore, Malaysia and Japan. And what were you doing here last time? Uh, I was on tour support act with Jewel and also playing in Jewel's band. Well, you actually wear, like two hats so to speak you've got your steve hat and your jewel hat how does that work for you it's good i do my show and then i just go change really quick and come back out and play another show it, it goes pretty fast it makes my nights go fast everybody's home right now on break for uh two weeks and i came back oh to good play some more shows. Yeah. good and um oh, i'm gonna put jewel aside for a second okay. because i want to talk about you i've read three things about you that you're into baseball right sort of into sci-fi a little bit. And little bit. Um, love writing songs. I do you want to talk about any of those? Well, baseball I like. I think I would get into cricket if I lived here, but I don't understand <laughs> it. I like the fact that they stop and have tea with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Australian uh, female cricket representative coming on later in the show. Do you really? She's yeah. the fastest Can bowler I mean, in the world. If you like, yeah. It's pretty it's pretty cool. Cool. I, that ball goes pretty fast, and then they stop and have tea. I like that. <laughs> but I actually heard that baseball is actually to, to um, train. They actually put their arm in rice or something to strengthen their arm, so they walk around like a crab on the... I didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks, Angus. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Black> music. <laughs> but yeah, I like sci-fi too, don't you? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, sort of. When it's like Armageddon, as we said before, it's a bit poxy. But did right. you, um, oh, I can't even think of the movie, Event Horizon? Oh, yeah, that? I haven't seen that, but it's I want Is it? <laughs> yeah. Lee, would you care to comment? <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's in colour, and it came out in 1996. Star Sam O'Neill, who happens to be a New Zealander, but we claim him as our own, which we often do. Do you remember Crowded House? I do. You know Crowded House? You love them? New Zealanders. We claim them as our own. Yeah. Same with the piano. Remember that film that won all the Oscars? Yeah, I went swimming in that beach. <laughs> that one in Eddie Vedder, <laughs> I heard, went surfing with like uh, Neil Finn and got like taken kare away kare. at that same beach in the rip. Yeah, Kare Kare. It's really rough. It's really? amazing. It's beautiful. And there's, there's nothing else around it, no stores or anything. When did you get to spend time there? Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when we were on tour with Jewel. I, I had a day off and I went up there. Nice. Oh, and they, they won't allow anything to be built there or anything. So I'm going to buy out all the land and put in like a 21 Cineplex movie theater. Yeah. Strip mall, <laughs> I think Harvey Cartel. Taco got Bell the same and a plans. Burger King. <laughs> Steve, you actually um, used to be in this band. <laughs> this is, I'm incorporating everyone. Thank you. Uh, the rug right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, That's my little niece on the cover. This is really? Like a punk band? A cult punk band? Kind of, band. yeah, cult punk yeah. folk band, yeah. Is that kind of different to what you're doing now? Now I sing love songs. <laughs> <laughs> Only to you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What about um, writing? Writing all the time. for you all the time? Uh, I love writing. Like, I write on the road. It's not that hard. I just wrote a Star Wars song because um, the new Star Wars movie is coming out. Yeah. So I wanted to write my own Star Wars theme. You should get Yoda to do the backing. So I hear Yoda's a pretty good singer. Yoda's a great singer, as a matter of fact. I channel him in this song. Dude, are you going on the soundtrack for the Star Wars film with this song? I don't think they'd accept this song. <laughs> really? Are we, can we hear it? It's yeah, I'll play it. But yeah, it's, one, it's going to be an international hit because it worked in uh, Japan where people don't really speak English and all they have to do is sing like Chewbacca when I say <laughs> go Chewy go. They just, you got to get that Chewy. Oh. Do the Chewy tone. Like, uh, That's good. Yeah, Yours is the best. <laughs> Chewy? Yeah, I can yeah. do Predator as well. Bro, submit it to the Lucas man. He's got the ranch up there in I San should. Francisco. Bring it along. What would you like to do? 
would you do to it? I can't, I'm Mr. Lucas, so what have you got for me, Steve? Uh, play me this song. You got five minutes to impress oh, Hang on, this is television. You got one minute to impress me. All right, but I need everybody in here to be chewy when I ask you to be chewy. My name's George chewy. Lucas. I don't yeah, okay, can, can anyone... George, is he? Yeah, I need, the I need the other chewies in here. I'm done with you, George. The song's already accepted. I need, I need the I other chewies in here. I could have you killed, here. Steve. Anyone else? Any other chewies? Perhaps uh, that piece of my ear. Just make sure the <laughs> mic goes heavily on you on the Chewabaca part. All right, here goes. Okay. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide, you never understand the power of the Jedi Knight. Obi Wan Kenobi by the flow before his hair. He thought it worked much better than a bottle of cheap air. Han Solo may have danced, but he never got in the Princess Leia's pants. Yeah, cause she was too busy being such a talker and making out with the brother Luke Skywalker. Go, Chewie, go. Oh, go, Chewie, go. Oh, go, Chewie, go. Oh. You're just pretty good. You gotta get louder. That's why I'm in movies. You may outrun a cop who's got a gun that's filled with radar, but you can't outrun the forces of our evil friend Darth Vader. R2-D2 and C-3PO were having cyber sex. When you throw an Ewok in, it gets a bit complex. Han Solo may have danced, but he never got in the Princess Leia's pants yet. Cause she was too busy being such a talker and making out with the brother Luke Skywalker. Go, Chewie, go. Go, Chewie, go. Go, Chewie, go. Yoda, will you please come save us? Yoda, that which is the force is not within your hands, although I could be wrong. You lightsaber using sister kissing free. Come on, Chewie, go, baby. Think that George Lucas was a doofus with a dream, but the archetypal misuse were never what they seem. So go ahead and flip me off and yell and tell your horse. But don't ever underestimate the power of the force. Darth Vader may have danced, but he never got in the Princess Leia's pants. She was too busy being such a talker and making out with the brother Luke Skywalker. Go, Chewie, go. Make it, pal. That was good. <laughs> now, Steve, how did you start music? Because when at one time you were selling plumbing supplies <laughs> and an altar boy, is that right? Yeah, I was an altar boy. I was. I used to serve the priest wine. And then plumbing supplies. I started just drinking the wine backstage <laughs> behind the altar. And uh, just had always played music, always wanted to play music. And so it was important. I followed was it always my dream. the guitar? Always the guitar. Always. Always. Oh. I would recommend to anybody out there. Play guitar or piano or something. I've got Fo one follow what you want to do. That I don't do you? play. Uh, I'm not cool I can with teach you. Enough. Great. Well, we'll do that later. Okay. But just quickly, tell me, why did you go solo? Why did I go solo? Yeah. It's just uh, I started playing on the streets all through Europe and uh, in Morocco, everywhere. And it was just easy. You could just make up your own decisions and go wherever you wanted. I'll play with the band again one day, but it's fun playing solo. Right. Well, thank you very much, Steve, for that song for us. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This, is, this is Steve's album called One Left Shoe. Is that the it's, one? The cover That's was done. actually done by the guy that did the Morrison Hotel and um, right. those yeah. two guys. The Doors Morrison Hotel. <laughs> they took there the you photos. go. Thank you. The cover concert. This is Steve's new album. One Left Shoe. And now we're going to have a look at your oh. clip. It's Silver Lining. <laughs> and this is Steve's song. And that's, that's his album. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs>